Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and share something really quick with you all. So this is just something quick. Um, I had, um, the kids had went to go with their daddy and I was walking in here to the living room and was putting some stuff up and look, my mom's Bible was in the floor in here beside like where my bookshelf is and stuff. Well, I'm like, well, okay. So I picked it up and then I realized it was my mom's Bible, like one of her Bibles. And so, whenever I picked it up, and it opened up, let me see. And, where's the card at? Get, just give me a minute, guys. I'm trying to find this. I think it's right in here. Anyways, this was in it. And it had this. It said, Everything has gone wrong. Got my back to the wall. Satan's coming on strong. That's a song that they used to sing at church. And my mom just had wrote it down right here and put it in her Bible. And then on the back of it, it had 7-19-98 in July. And then it said Isaiah 43-18-19. And then Baptism, Peggy and Stephanie. As you can see that right there. And God has really ministered through me through this you know of course my son's name's Isaiah and my mom had mine and hers her, her name wrote down here and anyways I went to that verse Isaiah 43 18 19 and right here it is she has it right down here wrote down or highlighted and stuff but this is what it says it says God will do a new thing Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So when I read that, I began to weep. I began to cry. And I, I began to know that that was a, a word that God given me. And, of course, he used my mom through it, too, because this was her Bible. And I've been going through things, and, you know, I had been wearing her ring. And God just revealed to me what he's capable of doing. And so I flipped over here to some more, uh, this other section here. And when I pulled it out, I was like, well, Lord, I, I, I've been speaking about this for two weeks now. This mess that I've been going through. And, uh, let's see. See if I can find it. Here it is. And anyways, right here, ask and it shall be given. So that's another verse that I've been standing on, and my mother had it wrote down in her her Bible. And I'm like, well, that's another confirmation right there. You know, God's just thrown. God has been revealing Himself to me for two weeks now, and He's been giving me words through the Bible and through just random things like this, and it's mind blowing. And then there was this, keep your eyes on the prize. And I was like, that is just so cool. And, you know, God will set us up in a time in our life for such a time as this. And by just seeing the Bible on the floor, I was, I was going to lock my door because my kids had left with their daddy. And I picked that Bible up and opened it up, sat down on the couch, and it was just there right in front of me. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful for God, how God has really showed himself to me. Just something as simple as this, you know, and it's, God has given me a peace and I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for that word. And, um, I just figured I'd share it with you. You know, God's good to us. And that's, that's a little testimony that how God's ministered to me through some things in my life that I've been going through and we just have to take hold of it and we have to grasp it. We have to claim it. We have to believe it, asking it shall be given. And that's what God's want me to do. You know, just, just believe it. And you know, I do believe in the miracles and all the wonders that he can do. Again, here's, here's the verse. God will do a new thing. So God's telling me that he's about to do a new thing for me in my life. And remember you not for the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So I'm thankful for that. And then I flipped over to the other side of the, 
that I showed you before. Ask and it shall be given. Keep your eyes on the prize. It's going to happen. The, the, the enemy has put me through so much hell here lately. He, he has really tried to break me. He has tried to get me to the to the lowest of the bottom, but you know what? He's not doing nothing. God is putting me in a place in my life where I need to be to where I can step out and do what God wants me to do and step out and rise above and be above. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really thankful. I know just around the corner, greater things is in store for me and my family. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know when, I don't know what God wants me to do in my life. I know that I'm called to, to, to share my testimony, to sing, minister, even, yeah, maybe even minister. Who knows what God has? Because, you know, if you're speaking the word, you're sort of ministering, right? So I'm just, I'm very excited. And even though I've been tested and in the flames, walking in the desert, walking in the wilderness, walking on top of the mountain sometimes, and I get back down, but guess what? God's there with me. And I don't understand, but God does. And there's my word and I'm thankful for it. And I was just wanting to share that with you guys and I hope it touched some of your hearts. So just, just always have an open heart. And if something's out of the ordinary and you know, you've been praying for an answer or you've been just, just praying in general, just, oh, just, just take heed to it and just step out in faith and just claim it and believe it. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.